Alright everybody, what's going on? Uh, so I just want to get on here and kind of make a crypto market and XRP update. Uh, this will be kind of like a little bit of a ramble, talking about a few different things just to let you know where my ideas and where my thoughts are. So let's get into it. So you may be wondering, what's going on with the crypto market? Are we in a bear market? Are we still in a bull market? What's going on with the prices? Is crypto going to stay alive? All these different things. And what's going on with XRP? So that might be the question that a lot of you have. And I finally got my XRP Army jersey. I've been pretty excited about it. It's from BitBoy Crypto and they are offering different crypto merch and some of it's pretty cool. So feel free to check some of it out. I'm not sponsored by them. I just think that they make cool content and I really like some of their merch. So feel free to check them out. Also check out their sub channels, uh, NFT Alpha, Meta Money, uh, Frankie Candles, all those guys, they make really good content and it's really helpful to help you learn about different things in the crypto market. I've been getting a little bit into NFTs now that it feels like we're in a bear market, prices are down a little bit and the help that DZ and Justin have been offering in the NFTs on their NFT Alpha show has been super helpful and also, if you're looking for side hustles or trying to learn how to do different things in the metaverse, the Meta Money guys make really good videos as well. And if you're looking for technical analysis on how to trade or invest in crypto and Bitcoin, Frankie Candles has made some really good videos as well. So go ahead and check out their sub channels. They make a lot of good stuff. But let's get back talking about the crypto market. So the other day, Benjamin Cowan came out. And he was one of the guys that was really talking about the extended cycle theory. And he posted a tweet that said the extended cycles theory is dead and he doesn't think it's going to be happening. So that's something that, you know, I still had kind of wondered about because there was a lot of people talking about the extended cycles. And looking back at it, it looks kind of like it's still playing out with the Bitcoin four year cycles. It peaked in November. Now it didn't do a parabolic run up like I personally was expecting, but it peaked and then started coming back down. And this bull market looks a lot like the bull market that happened in 2013, 2014. There was a double top and then it came back down. Now with that happening, it makes me wonder, are we in a bear market? It feels like we're in a bear market. This feels a lot like 2018. The sentiment is down. People aren't talking about crypto anymore. Normal people aren't even focused on crypto. They've forgotten about it again, just like I did back in 2018. In 2018, I thought Bitcoin was dead. I thought it was a fad. And I laughed at all the people that were putting all these Bitcoin ATMs everywhere because I thought it was dead. And turns out I was the idiot. And so it feels like we're in a bear market again. Now, I feel like we're still gonna have to wait a little bit longer to confirm that we're in a bear market. But also another thing that people have been wondering is if we are in a bear market, where is the bottom? So in 2017, the bottom happened about one year after the peak in 2017. And it seemed like that was similar to the 2013 uh, bull cycle. But now we're wondering, everybody's been saying, well, the market peaked in May of 2021 when Elon Musk came out and said that Tesla had Bitcoin. And so some people are saying that the bottom is probably happening right now. Now, I'm still thinking that if it follows the normal cycles, that November should have been the normal top. And most likely the bottom is going to be this November. So that's kind of what I'm holding out to see. And if that's the case, then buying now is a good idea, but it's a better idea to wait until we get closer to November when the prices are lower. As we get closer to November, then you should start dollar cost averaging in. And as you keep doing that over the next two or three years, then you're gonna start seeing some serious gains once we get close to the peak of the next market in 2025. Now, another thing that I'm curious about is since this bull cycle was similar to 2013, 2014, and there was a double top, does that mean that in the next bull cycle, we're gonna see a crazy parabolic run up like we did in 2017? Now that's something I don't know. And 
there's also people talking about diminishing returns, which makes sense because the crypto market has gone from a couple billion dollar market to a trillion dollar market, even a couple trillion dollar market at the peak. So in order to get these Bitcoin prices up higher and higher, there has to be trillions more dollars coming in in order to raise these prices. And as it gets higher and higher, it gets harder and harder to raise it up to like $300,000, $400,000, even a million dollar Bitcoin. It's going to be really hard to get it up that high because the market cap is going to have to be in the trillions and trillions of dollars. But there are people with that kind of money, specifically Wall Street. Now, Wall Street has had a lot of problems trying to get into crypto because of regulation. There are laws and different regulations that won't let them in. So as different regulations go through and Wall Street is able to purchase crypto, put it in IRAs, put it in retirement accounts, put it in 401ks, different things like that, then we'll start seeing trillions of dollars coming into the crypto market. Now, another thing that you can think of is just like me with XRP, I found that only on uphold, I'm able to buy XRP. Now, other people have said KuCoin, other people have said Voyager Digital, but I've had a lot of people tell me in the comments that you can't get it on KuCoin and you can't get it on Voyager Digital. On Uphold is the only place I've been able to buy XRP without any problems. So I've been putting money into XRP because it's exclusively available only through Uphold. Now, this is going to be similar to crypto and Bitcoin. Right now, us as retail investors, we can get into crypto the institutional investors are having a much harder time. Once they can get in, then the value will start going up a lot. So if you're able to get into crypto and you have the means, I would suggest putting in even just your spare change. If you can throw in five, 10, $25 a week, or every time you get paid to throw in 50 bucks, something like that, put it into different cryptos that you think are gonna do well, I think over the next couple couple of years that you will see some some decent gains, and this is something that I'm I've been really paying attention to because I feel like if I can find a way to get a few thousand dollars in there, that I could easily make enough to retire on in the next bull cycle. Now that sounds crazy, but I think it's very likely and very possible. But like I said, it's going to take that consistency. It's going to take that commitment to keep putting money in and keep going. So now, like I was saying with the XRP, what's been happening with XRP? Well, it's starting to seem like nothing is happening. And I haven't lost hope. I've still got all of my same XRP. I sold a little bit at the end of the year in order to do some tax loss harvesting, but then I bought it all right back and have all of my same XRP still. So I'm still pretty heavily in XRP. It makes up almost 90% of my portfolio, my crypto portfolio at least. So I've got quite a bit of XRP and I'm still waiting for XRP to be able to, for well, at least for Ripple and the SEC case to settle. Once that settles, then we can have some answers and then we'll be able to know if it can return to, well, once the case is settled, then Coinbase will be able to list XRP again and Gemini and all the other exchanges, Binance, they'll all be able to list XRP again and people can at least start buying it again. And I believe that that'll have a beneficial boost on the price, but we may not see it until the next bull cycle starts happening. Right now we're in a bear market. If the case gets settled in the bear market, there might not be a whole bunch of movement. Now, we'll have to see because that I mean that could be something that brings the crypto market back up again. So we're kind of waiting for a few different things to happen within the crypto market. The SEC and Ripple case to be settled, the Ethereum 2.0 merge to actually happen, and the crypto ETFs, the regulations, different things like that to go through. So there's a lot of different things that are kind of just rolling around that we're waiting to actually happen. And my thoughts are if they happen in the bear market, it's probably gonna be kind of quiet. There might not be a whole lot of movement with the crypto price, maybe a little bit up, maybe a little bit down. But I think that if we are in a bear market, things are just gonna keep going down gradually until November, kind of bottom out and then be boring and flat for a little bit until it starts to gradually go back up for the next couple of years. So now is a good time to start paying attention. 
now is a good time to start getting your finances in order, especially if we start seeing deflation, the price of things go down. I know it's hard to believe that that would happen, but if things start going down, then now is a good time to keep a little bit more money in savings, to pay off your debts, and to start dollar cast averaging into your different stocks and your different cryptos and kind of hang on for the next couple of years as things are a little bit boring. Now, if the bottom is in November, then start paying attention now. Get ready now so that you're ready for the next few months in order to start pouring money into the markets in November. What I'm gonna be focusing on right now is trying to save up money, trying to pay down unnecessary debts and getting myself in a good financial position so that I can get heavily into crypto and back into different stocks that I want when the market bottoms. And I know we can't time the market bottom perfectly, and I know crypto is at a good price right now. So if you wanna start getting in right now, I don't blame you at all. I'm gonna keep putting a little bit in with every paycheck and kind of growing my position. I'm gonna keep playing my different games and different things like that, which that's another thing that I've been focusing on in the bear market is focusing on crypto gaming, different crypto projects. One of the games that I'm playing right now is Steppin. And it's been pretty fun to kind of go and get paid for stuff that I'm already doing. I'm already exercising. I'm already working out every day. So I might as well get paid to go run for a little bit and see how the different tokens interact with different things and get experience with these different Web3 projects. So I'm kind of just testing things out in the bear market, seeing how things go, learning about different projects, checking out different NFTs, learning how I can use the NFTs to make money, or learning how they have different use cases and things like that. So this is the kind of stuff that you can do in the, in the bear market. You can also do a lot of research, learn a lot, and focus on the different things that you can do to make money with crypto. I still think crypto is gonna be a huge part of the future, and over the next decade, we're going to see a lot of changes, things going digitally. There's going to be a lot of different industries that realize that they can optimize things by making things more digital, more online. They can use Web3 apps and they can use Web3 websites and different things like that to make their jobs easier. So there's going to be a lot of jobs transitioning over to cybersecurity, programmers, uh, software engineers, different things like that. And... I don't think there's going to be a huge move from common jobs to robots all of a sudden, but I do think there's going to be a lot more work from home. There's going to be a lot more online work and different things like that. So I think crypto is going to play a huge role in upgrades to society and the internet over the next few years. So I do think that it's a very good investing opportunity still to get into crypto because we, it still feels early. And like I said, if Wall Street can't get in super heavily yet, there's still tons of money that's being held back by these regulations, by these laws and different things. So kind of watch, listen, pay attention. Don't think that crypto died like I did in 2018, because then four years from now, you're going to be kicking yourself that you made the same mistake that I did. And just keep paying attention, keep watching and try to get yourself in a good financial position so that you're ready when the next wave of crazy high prices comes in. So we'll have to see what happens. I'm curious, I don't really know exactly. Maybe it'll be like 2017 and there'll be a crazy price run up. Maybe we'll see another double top, who knows? Maybe we'll see a gradual run up and it'll start being more like the stock market. I guess we'll just have to see. As the price gets higher and higher, it's gonna be hard to lift it higher and higher. So we'll just have to see how these different things happen. So thanks everybody for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section. And I'll go ahead and leave some helpful links in the description. And I'll see you in the next video.